New data shows if silicone breast implants are safe and why women need to be vigilant. Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. Well, the safety of silicone breast implants has been a long time debate. Now, five years after allowing them back on the market, the FDA releases its findings. Fox Vice Christina Lee joins us with those results. Kathleen, silicone breast implants were first banned in the early 90s because of a health scare. But despite some risks, the FDA finds them for the most part safe. For Roxanne Sosi, feeling and looking sexier has always been important to her. There's no looking back. I think it's the best feeling ever. Roxanne has had her breast implants for about a year. She went with silicone because they don't ripple, like what happens with saline. I mean, I love them. They're very natural look. She feels even more confident about her decision after hearing the FDA's preliminary findings. Silicone implants are safe. Well, it's great news for, for both plastic surgeons as well as patients. Uh, it's it's something that we've known all along. The safety of silicone breast implants have long been debated. In 1992, the agency banned silicone after some thought it caused certain autoimmune diseases. Then, in 2006, the FDA was criticized for allowing the controversial implants back on the market. The new data shows no evidence the implants cause breast cancer, reproductive problems, or other major health problems. But there are complications, including hardening, and they can rupture. Normally, our recommendation is, is they feel that there's a, sus a suspicion of a rupture, that they should go back and see their plastic surgeon or a, a board-certified plastic surgeon in their area. Dr. Vincent Marin says, even after you get your bust your chest, women need to be vigilant about their health. All of this should be continued with regular self uh, exams monthly. They're getting their mammogram starting at age 40 and even earlier if they have a family history. Now, this study isn't over. It will continue at least through 2016 to rule out any connection between silicone breast implants and cancer. If you want more on the report, you can go to fox5sandiego.com and click the scene on tab. Kathleen. And of course, with any implants, it's always the mammograms where they may not be able to see as clearly. So that's something you also want to mention to your physician if you do have them, that you do have implants. All right, Christina Lee, thank you.